Hello! I'm back. Today, after a little hiatus, it's been about a week again since I did a video. As you've seen, I ride with a backpack. This clip you're watching right now is me riding with a backpack, so do that what you will. This is the backpack in question. It says, live to walk on the side, not live to mountain bike. Two things I really hate about backpacks. Number one, you get a sweaty back. You're exerting yourself when you're mountain biking. You get hot. This really makes your back hot. It looks horrible. It feels horrible when you take it off and it gets freezing. Uh, it's just not enjoyable. Number two, when you do a jump, you go over a tabletop or whatever, you do a jump, you send it, it like jumps on your back. You're jumping and your back also has a jump and it just kind of, it's annoying. What I'm gonna do is make everything that's in this bag be on my bike. So let's get started. So this is everything that was in this bag here. Starting from the left we have an inner tube which I got from the bike when I converted to tubeless. You can see in this video up here. Second in we have a multi-tool. It's got enough of the stuff to get me back going. It's not got a chain tool or anything but it's got most of the stuff I need to get me going. Two tire levers for getting the, getting the wheel off. We have a seal too so I can inflate the tube if I have a tubeless incident. And we have a hydration pack so water. So what we're going to do is all the stuff that was in this bag, being this line of stuff, is going to go on my bike. Obviously I'm not going to just stick the hydration bag onto my bike, and I can't really fit a normal bottle cage here, so I bought this. This being the Syncross Matchbox Taylor bottle cage, as you can see it's got a pump, it's got full multi-tool in it as well and it's pretty slick. It's a side release cage which is why I bought it over uh, things like the Topeak Ninja and I'm gonna put this on my bike. The pump and the tools are on a tray and they kind of, you clip or unclip I should say, that and the bottom, grab the pump and it slides out with your tools. You've got loads of Allen keys on the bottom, you've got chain tool, uh, this is an 8mm bit and you've also got master link storage. So you've got everything you shall need to get you going again. Now we're well on our way to being hydrated. Now I'm going to slot in the pump assembly. It's worth noting that the pump has a flexible head so it doesn't put so much pressure on your valve stem. So this now simply just slots on. And now that is inflation, uh, tools and water done in one compact, cool looking thing. That is everything taken care of with just one Syncross Matchbox Taylor cage. So, I hope you like this video. I definitely like this. And I forgot to mention that the hydration part of this is going to be provided by this GMBN water bottle, which I won. So thanks very much GMBN. Look at that. That couldn't be much more smug. Smug, snug, smug. Shut up. So there we go. Comes out the side because it's a side release. This is so cool! Thanks, GMBN. 